hiatus because, to be honest, you guys, I don't even know why I took a break off of YouTube. I had so much motivation. I had an idea of what I was going to do. I guess I just never uh, kept up with it. But now, I'm going to try to get back on track. I'm going to try to upload uh, more YouTube videos or at least on a some type of consistent basis. But, um, yeah, more about that later, all my plans and stuff later. But um, today, we're going to be talking about what's in my gym bag. You know, everyone has one of these things. Either you carry one or you don't. You know, has all your stuff you need for the gym. You know, a really solid gym session. Everything you need should be in this bag. So... Yeah, we're gonna go through that. But uh, first things first, I'm gonna go over the stuff that I don't carry in my gym bag, but um, I do use on a pretty consistent basis. Either I have it in my hands while I'm going to the gym or sometimes I'll forget it and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so first things first, always gotta have a water bottle, right? You know, you know I know you guys be working out, you guys are sweating, getting dehydrated, all that good shit. So always have a good, always have a water bottle be a good water bottle it just has to be water bottle you know so usually i carry this water bottle or if i don't in my bag i have my uh my shaker cup this is a gila mix i usually have my um pre-workout in here pre-workout of creatine so I'm, i would put water ice pre-workout creatine in here close it up shake it up throw it on my bag when i get to the gym and i start foam rolling i'll be sipping on it drinking it till by the time i'm done foam, roll foam rolling hopefully i'm done warming up and I finish drinking the uh, pre-workout. Uh, the pre-workout I'm currently taking, or I just ran out, but um, it was, I was taking Rise, Rise the Ring Pop flavor. I was also taking, uh, I think it's called Pump Factory, the non-stimulant pre-workout, the one with no stims, no caffeine. The only reason I'm, I haven't bought any more pre-workout is because I'm trying to stray away from the caffeine for a little bit before I get back into it because I felt like my tolerance for caffeine was actually getting really high and it wasn't hitting the same, so I stopped doing that. So yeah, so usually, so I have a water bottle, also have a uh, shaker cup. Next thing I carry sometimes is my lifting belt. So the lifting belt I don't bring every day because I'm not squatting heavy every day and I'm not deadlifting every day, but usually on leg days, I'll bring the lifting belt and then if I ever deadlift, I don't deadlift as much as I used to, but if I ever do, most likely gonna be using this uh, this lever belt, this is a Primal Power lever belt, 13 millimeters, has the uh, the lever on it for quick release. It's a really nice belt, gets the job done, really nice color, all that fun stuff. But yeah, this is the belt that I use whenever I train heavy. So yeah, that's that. Now, on to the actual bag itself. So this is a bag I bought at Ross for like $25, you know, so. You guys need a good deal just go to ross ross always has the hookups but uh i guess we'll just work from the outside and work inwards so on the outside usually these um the side of uh, water bottle holders this one has a jump rope i use this jump rope sometimes not all the time this is one form of cardio i enjoy which is jump rope so i use that sometimes in this side i usually carry the shaker cup so i would have like a gila mix or another shaker cup in here with my pre-workout or just water uh, the front pouch. So in the front pouch, I usually carry my keys because I gotta get to the gym somehow. So that's the first thing. Second thing, my wallet has identification people. A uh, stick of deodorant, you know, always want to have one of these uh, so you don't smell bad. So I have that. Um, a lock, just in case I want to ever lock up my bag or if I'm going to take a shower at the gym, I'll have an extra set of clothes inside the bag. I'll lock up my stuff before I take a shower and a screwdriver probably wondering what is a screwdriver for this screwdriver is actually for my belt so I use this flat head side I can unscrew the buckle adjust it move it up and down so it gets too light or too light too loose or too tight I can adjust it so there's that all right so that goes that's pretty much the uh, first pouch here let's go into the second pouch Alright, second pouch in here, we got my boxing gloves. So I carry 12 ounce boxing gloves. I bought these on Amazon for about 30 bucks. This is my other form of, uh, this is probably my favorite form of uh, cardio, just hitting the heavy bag. You know, I usually have a timer, set it to like, I think it's two minute, uh, no, no. I think they're three, 
It's either three three-minute rounds or something like that, or five three-minute rounds with uh, two minutes of rest in between, or one minute of rest, I forgot. But I have an interval timer that plays, and then I will usually just hit the bag while that time's going on and just work up a really good sweat. But yeah, this is probably my favorite form of uh, cardio, just hitting the heavy bag with the, these 12-ounce gloves. So that's inside, but that's pretty much what takes up the majority of this big pouch right here. I also carry in this little zipper compartment. I have a tripod. This is what I use to record my YouTube videos because I get a uh, small, compact. I used to have a nicer one, but that one kind of broke. So I had to settle for this one for now until I get another one. But this is what I've been using for my uh, YouTube videos. So that's right there. And the final thing in this big pouch are hand wraps. Uh, make sure you wrap your hands. I make sure I wrap my hands every time I hit the heavy bag So I don't want any um, I don't want my knuckles to bleed. I want extra wrist support I want to break anything and Sometimes I don't even use the I don't even use the gloves I just throw the wraps on and just hit the bag, you know But when you do stuff like that if you're hitting the bag bare knuckle or if you're hitting the bag with just wraps You got to focus on the form. You don't want to hit with like the way you hit with um, a boxing glove because the boxing glove has a whole lot more padding so you have less padding with these just a tip, some advice, but yeah, these are the Venom 180 inch uh, hand wraps, got them on Amazon for like about 10 bucks, really solid, so that's what I use for my hand wraps, and that pretty much does it for the second pouch in here, the third pouch, there's like another pouch right here, this is probably like the, the laptop sleeve they call it, yeah, I just call it a third pouch, but here's the third pouch, third pouch, my knee sleeves, I, I think I just use these, yeah, they're still kind of damp from the sweat, but um, yeah, knee sleeves. I use these on my leg days as a knee support. Uh, I don't want my knees to go bad. Maybe I do have bad knees, but I don't know because I've been using these and they support my knees really well. These are the Nordic Lifting knee sleeves. Really solid. You can probably buy them from anywhere. I know uh, Primal Power sells knee sleeves. SVD sells knee sleeves. The list goes on and on, you know. But yeah, I have a pair of knee sleeves I use uh, pretty much every leg day. And um, yeah, these are great. Up next, I have two forms of lifting straps. So these are your traditional deadlifting straps that I used to use. I have these since like high school. Uh, they work really well. Uh, these are kind of weird if you don't know how to use them, but you can probably learn. They're a lot cheaper too. But if I was recommended for everyone, I would recommend you guys get these things. These are called Cobra Grips. And Cobra Grips are great because instead of having to like loop it around your hand, uh, like these deadlifting straps, loop it around your hand and like uh, wrap it around the bar and everything. If you just buy Cobra Cobra grips, okay, where's this from my left hand? So all you do is just un undo the Velcro, slip it on your wrist, tighten it, wrap it around, and it's just a piece of uh, rubber like this. So you take the piece of rubber, you wrap it around the bar or whatever you're grabbing, and you just hold on to it like this, and it should provide you optimal grip enough amount of grip to get through your workout without having your uh, forearms or your your grip give out on you so this is what i use cobra grips really great i also recently bought these a uh, pair of uh, collars for the barbell uh, i use these on uh when i do squats and i don't want the plate slipping off same with deadlifts if i ever do deadlifts i'll put these on the bar so they don't slip off the gym has them but you have to ask them for it and i don't want to ask them for it so i just decided to buy my own they're pretty cheap on amazon so i just bought my own and just um started using these and the final thing in this pouch are uh, wrist wraps wrist wraps for benching i usually i don't bench heavy anymore i don't do um flat bench press I, I prefer dumbbell bench press or like a machine press because of hypertrophy but i might go back uh for strength but yeah these are the wrist wraps i use these are the the gym reaper wrist straps so yeah and uh let's see here i think that's pretty much it for the bag uh I also carry my AirPods on this little loop thing right here. So yeah, never forget your AirPods because your AirPods, they come in clutch. You know, you listen to your music, noise cancellation. These are the AirPods Pro. Noise cancellation is phenomenal. If these aren't charged or I forget them, uh, I have a pretty bad workout. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my gym bag. I don't know, you guys, uh, let me know what you guys carry in your gym bag. Maybe it's different from mine, but yeah, that's pretty much what's in my gym bag. All right, so that's pretty much uh, what is in my gym bag. That's usually what I carry to the gym. Uh, some updates, if anything, I'll update the bag. The only thing I kind of want to update about the bag is if I, um, I'm planning on taking Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu classes. So when I start doing that, I'll probably carry my gi 
and um, an extra set of clothes, rash guards inside. I'm probably gonna use a bigger bag. I actually have another bag down here. It's like a Gymshark like duffel bag. I'll probably start using that instead. But um, small updates. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this YouTube thing, like dedicate like a day or two to straight YouTube as in editing, filming, stuff like that. I need to get on top of that. I need to get back into uh, Twitch streaming. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set a schedule on um, what days I should stream because I feel like I don't have a set schedule and then I end up getting lazy and I don't stream. So that's gonna be another big one. And um, for sure, I'm gonna leave links to all my uh, socials in the, uh, the description below. But um, if you guys wanna catch me, I'm most active, I would say on TikTok. I post TikTok to TikTok every day, but I might try to start posting two times a day only because I feel like that's uh, one of the platforms that's uh, at the moment pretty easy to grow on. But other than that, those are pretty much like the updates. Uh, life's been going good. I don't know like uh, how everyone else is doing, but I'm doing uh, pretty good. I'd like to say uh, I'm happier, uh, doing a lot more things, experiencing a lot more stuff. Again, I just need to get back on the grind with um, YouTube and uh, Twitch. But other than that, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for any other videos, please let me know in the comments or just anywhere. And I think that's pretty much it. I hope to catch you guys in the next video. And hopefully I can be really consistent with this one. But I will catch you guys in the next one. And I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Peace, everyone.